Hey, my name's Katie. Every so often, I like to go through my pantry, refrigerator, freezer, and try and create meals with ingredients that I already have without having to go to the grocery store. This not only saves money, but also helps prevent food waste. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the recent pantry cleanout meals that I have made for myself and my family. For this meal, I'm going to make some split pea with barley soup. This is just a packet of peas and barley and seasoning that I've had in my pantry for a very long time. And you can make this alone or you can add some produce. I've got some extra carrots that are about to go bad, potatoes, onion, garlic, and this kale. First, I'm gonna saute these onions in a little bit of oil. You could also use water for a couple minutes and then I'm going to add the garlic and cook it for another couple minutes. Next, I throw in the carrots and the potatoes and cook for a couple more minutes. Then I add six cups of water and I'm going to bring this to a boil. And then once the water starts to boil, you will dump in the um, bean mix, but I'm impatient and I'm going to go ahead and dump it in there. It's almost boiled. Um, and then you just put the lid on and let it simmer for one hour. Okay, so this is simmered for an hour, so I'm going to just dump in the seasoning packet. Stir that up real good. And then dump in the kale. Okay, so I am just going to turn the heat off and cover this and let it sit for about five or ten more minutes and then it'll be done. Here is the soup all finished. I did add a little bit of salt and this will be enough to feed us for dinner tonight and probably lunch tomorrow also. There will definitely will be leftovers and I'll probably eat it with some crackers or bread. Next I'm going to make some barbecue chickpea sandwiches. I've got some leftover veggies. The veggies are completely optional. You can make this with just chickpeas and barbecue sauce and some bread. I've cut up and am cooking down my veggies. Next I add the drained chickpeas and barbecue sauce and I stir it up real good and cook it on low for about 10 minutes. And there's the finished sandwich. You can put this on a wrap also and you can add whatever toppings you want. I did mayonnaise and a tomato. You could also add lettuce, um, but this is enough chickpea stuff to make at least four good sized sandwiches. Today I'm going to make some chili. I found these cans in my pantry, uh, the chili beans, fire roast, the diced tomatoes, some carrots, some green chilies, and then I'm going to also have an onion and garlic in there with the chili, and then you can just eat that by itself. But I also had these sweet potatoes, so I'm actually gonna bake these sweet potatoes and put the chili over top the sweet potatoes. First, I'm just going to put in the onion and garlic and cook that for just a few minutes. 
now that the onions and garlic have cooked for a few minutes, we're just going to dump all of the other ingredients. And we'll just let this cook for about 10 or 15 minutes. So this chili is all done and I've just cooked up the sweet potato. You can bake it for an hour or I just put it in the microwave for a few minutes and we're just going to cover up the sweet potato with some chili. And then if you have any like sour cream or cheese that you want to put on top of there, you can, but we're just going to eat it like this. And then we'll have some leftover chili that we can eat tomorrow for lunch, just as plain chili. Today I'm going to make some pineapple fried rice. I had this can of pineapple in my pantry for forever, so I was trying to figure out something to do with it and fried rice seems like a good idea. I made up this rice yesterday because when you do fried rice, it's really better to use um, some older rice and not fresh rice. But then I just had some soy sauce, sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, you can use vegetable oil. And then everything bagel seasoning. Um, I have a partially cut up red pepper. I'll just use the rest of that. Half an onion, garlic, a jalapeno, and then some curry powder. So first I just put a little sesame oil on the pan and I'm going to cook down the peppers and onion. When they cook down, then I'll add the garlic and cook it for a few more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add about half a teaspoon of curry powder. Okay, next I'm going to add the rice. And soy sauce. Then I'll add some of this everything bagel seasoning. all done. I just threw some cilantro and red pepper flakes on top of it also. Green onions would have been delicious on here if I had any, but unfortunately I didn't. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will tell you that my favorite recipe was the pineapple fried rice. My husband's favorite recipe was the chili and both of my kids really loved the split pea and barley soup. I thought that that meal was gonna last us that night and the next day for lunch, but they ended up coming back for seconds and thirds and um, ended up e eating it all that night. So they really liked that meal a lot. Let me know down below if you guys ever do pantry clean out meals yourself and what some of your favorite clean out meals have been. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.